Hey everyone, it's Amanda and this is Barney and he was sitting on my lap so I thought well he can be in the video in the beginning here but today I'm doing my very last book haul for a long time. Um, my birthday is over, I got some birthday money, I bought books and now the fun is done. I'm out of shelf space and so it's time for me to slow down on my book buying and start reading and when I don't like a book, I donate it, get rid of it, sell it. So that will clear off some space because I don't like every book I read. And then I can get some more books. So um, first of all, though, first of all, I want to show you. Um, he usually goes away, but he, there we go. Okay. Um, show you. I won a giveaway from Ashley at Gamer Doll 21, and I will link her channel below. She is um, a great booktuber. I really enjoy her channel. And she had a giveaway, and I won, and I was excited. So this is the package. I did cut it open to save time. So I'm going to open it up. I know what's in here, but I'm really excited. So, oh, and she gave me a bookmark from Savers, which is a store we don't have. Um, yeah, I've never heard of that store. I don't know if it's like a grocery store or a, like, Walmart-type store. But, yay, thank you, Ashley. And a note, which is really sweet. Thank you very much. And a book. I got Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. I'm super excited to read this. I actually was so happy when I won this because I really, really wanted to read this one. And um, I couldn't find it anywhere for a good price. So I was so excited to win it. So thank you, Ashley. I'm planning on reading this actually pretty soon, I think. So I really appreciate it. Check out her channel. She's great. And thanks again, Ashley. That's really nice. Okay. So now, these are the books that I got from the Goodwill, my favorite place to buy books. First of all, I got John Saul's Black Lightning. This has to do with a serial, ki serial killer. Um, I haven't read anything by John Saul, but I've been slowly collecting some of his books. So I'm looking forward to reading them. I also got Strangers by Dean Koontz. Um, I had never heard of this one, but I think it's a pretty popular one, and it's really, really big. But... Stephen King said this is the best novel he has written, so that's pretty impressive. Um, it has to do with a bunch of strangers that come together at some um, tranquility motel, and of course some stuff happens, which kind of reminds me of, um, and then there were none, but I'm sure it's not that type of story, but who knows? We'll see. So I'm looking forward to re reading that. I need to try not to talk too fast. I also got Four Past Midnight by Stephen King, another beast of a book. Look at that. That is crazy big. But it has four short stories, so, um, you know, it's not as big as it looks because it's four different stories. This has The Langoliers, which that movie is on Netflix. My husband and I started to watch it, but our Netflix connection was messed up, and I just wasn't really that into it. It's kind of, it's very 80s type movie, but my husband really liked it, so... I'm looking forward to reading the story. Ooh, and I just saw, ooh, there's like a picture. It has the library policeman, the secret window, um, secret garden, the library policeman, and the sun dog. And I did see Secret Window with Johnny Depp. I thought that was a good movie. I don't remember much about it. All I remember is it had a really big twist at the end. I don't even remember the twist, but I remember thinking, wow, that was really shocking. So, then... I got Desperation by Stephen King, and I think this is a cool cover. Um, these books aren't in the best condition, but they had a bunch of them, um, like a bunch of these Stephen King paperbacks and Dean Koontz, and I bought them because if I like them, then I'll buy the hardcovers, but I don't know. I might not like them. I prefer to have the hardcovers because I think they're nicer, um, and these have definitely been well-read, but like I said, I'll read them and see they were a dollar each so I didn't really want to pass them up. I've been trying to buy some more Stephen King. Then I got The Eternal Enemy by Christopher Pike. This uh, is funny because it's about a VCR. This girl gets um, a new VCR and uh, it shows news of tomorrow, tomorrow's news, so she can see the future, which sounds kind of neat. I've never read this one. I don't remember this one from my high school years, so I'm looking forward to reading that. Super excited to find Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. This, I believe, is about a utopian instead of dystopian. It's a utopian world. 
um, I think, and I'm looking forward to reading this one. I, I've heard a lot about this, and I've never read it. Then I got Around the Next Corner by Elizabeth Wren, and this is about a woman who kind of feels like forgotten in her home. She's married, has kids, and she ends up raising a puppy for canine eyes for the blind, and it kind of changes her life, which I think is wonderful because puppies and dogs are wonderful. They are very, very therapeutic for sure. Then I got... <laughs> Claudia and the Phantom Phone Calls by Anne M. Martin. This is a Babysitter's Club book. Yes, it is. I was one of the biggest fans of the Babysitter's Club when I was 12 years old. Between 5th and even maybe 8th grade, I read them like crazy. I think I read them a little bit in 4th grade. That's when I started reading them. And so I have come to the conclusion. I saw another YouTuber, and I can't remember her name. She's been buying them just for the nostalgia. So if I find them cheap enough, I'm going to start buying them and just reading them because they do bring back that warm, comfortable, um, homey, happy feeling when you read an old book. It's like finding an old friend. So I got that. <laughs> then I got The Cure by Athol Dickinson. This is a Christian fiction. <clears throat> it's about a missionary who... Um, I don't know what happens. It just says that there is a single act of, act of wickedness and any chance of forgiveness seems distant. I really kind of was just drawn in by the cover. I thought it was really, really pretty. So I'm looking forward to reading that. Then I blame Ashley for this. And I can't remember your name, Ashley. I'm going to, I'll look up her channel too and link it below. But she was talking about Nora Roberts and how much she loves Nora Roberts. And I thought, I've never read Nora Roberts, but they have their, her books at the Goodwill all the time. So I picked up two. They had Black Hills, and this I thought was a really cool cover. Um, it's like, I think it's a love story, but it has to do with these two kids that find a dead body one day. And then I guess like the aftermath and what happens after that. So I'm going to try out Nora Roberts and see. The other one I picked up is called... Chesapeake Blue, and this is about a man who moves back to um, Maryland's eastern shore, and I believe it's a love story, but I love going to the beach and that area, um, and we always go to the east coast when we go to the beach because we live in Pennsylvania, and we always cross the Chesapeake Bay Bridge and all that good stuff, so um, I thought this would be a great book to take to the beach or just to read in the summertime. So I'm excited to read that. I also, the last book I got at the Goodwill is called The Abduction by Mark Jimenez, I believe is how you would say it. And this has a kind of haunting looking cover. It is about a man whose daughter is abducted from her soccer game or something. Um, someone picks her up and it's not the uncle. They say they're her uncle and they're not. So I think that sounds interesting and creepy and I don't know why I buy child abduction books but I do so those are the books I got at the Goodwill and then they all fell okay yes then I went to the Dollar Tree and Big Lots again it's different Dollar Trees and Big Lots and I found at the Dollar Tree Lost and Found by Carolyn Parkhurst um this is about a mother and a daughter who end up participating in a reality show. And I guess the mother and daughter have some issues between them, and I guess they kind of work that out. I don't know. It sounded good. It was a buck, so I got that. I also got um, Fat, Fat Chance by Jolie Haddon, Losing My Weight, Gaining My Worth. She was, I believe, she won. She was on The Biggest Loser, and she's a Christian, and this is kind of, her story and I thought it sounded really interesting and maybe inspirational so I got that and then at Big Lots they had their books at another Big Lots 50% off and I already have this book and it already is still it has really bad ratings but it was hardcover it was 50 cents so I got Sweet Valley Confidential 10 years later I have not yet read this I have the paperback but 50 cents and I had to buy it because when I opened it up 
Yay. It's so nostalgic. It's Jessica and Elizabeth. And the back has, I'm assuming this is Jessica. She was the more glamorous one. And then Elizabeth, she was like the smarter twin. She always wore her hair back and Jessica always wore her hair down. I don't know. I'm looking forward to reading this at some point. So I got that because it was 50 cents. And the cashier, I think she really was excited too. She said she loved those books. Then I got If You Were Here by Jen Lancaster. This was a dollar fifty from down from three dollars. And this is about a I believe a husband and wife who decide to flip houses which I always like those shows about flipping houses because I think they're really interesting. And my house um, needed a lot of work when we bought it, so we've been kind of flipping it, but we're planning on living here, but we're staying here and fixing it up. And I love watching that just because you get ideas and stuff. So it sounds like a funny, I think it's a comedy, funny book. Okay, the last place is from CBD, which is christianbook.com. Um, it's Christian Book Distributors, and the reason I ordered from here is because I'm singing in church soon, and I had to get my, my soundtrack song, so I was looking on the website, and they had some books for really, really good prices on the clearance section, so of course I picked them up, and this was kind of my birthday present from my husband then, but all of these books were 99 cents, some below that, and then like the $1.99, $2.99. First, I got a bookmark. That says to lay yourself in the Lord and he will give you all the desires of your heart. Psalms 37 4. And I just think it's really cute. So I got that. I got Isolation by Travis Thrasher. And this didn't even really sound like a Christian story. I'm interested to see how that's kind of woven in. It's about a burned out missionary who was in Papua New Guinea and he moves back to North Carolina. And his wife starts seeing these things in the house they move into like there's blood dripping down the walls and she starts seeing um premonitions and things so it sounds really creepy and interesting so I was excited to get this I think it was like a dollar 99 I got The Gate by Dan A. Stoughton and I think this is something to do with like a guy stumbles on a gate that goes to heaven or something they've compared it to The Shack which I have not read but I have that book um but they say this is better than The Shack. I don't know. So I'm going to read it and see. We'll see. <laughs> I also got Forget Me Not by Vicki Hines. Um, something to do with a man whose wife is killed. But then this lady moves in like to the neighborhood or the town. And she looks just like his wife. So I also got Arena by Karen Hancock. This one I'm really excited about because the cover is really cool looking. And it sounds like... Um, I'm not sure what, this is a psychology research experiment, and she has to, like, figure out something or risk succumbing to the deadly deception of the arena. I'm not exactly sure, like, what this is going to be about, but it sounds really good. It kind of almost sounds like it has a dystopian feel to it. This one was, like, 25 cents. That's why I bought it, but it sounds really good, too. It's not because I just, because it was so cheap, but... It's Less Is More by Lindy, L Wendy Lawton. It is a middle grade, I believe. Um, it's about a girl who's overweight, and she ends up going on a reality television show about that called Losing Weight and Feeling Great. I love books about reality shows. I think that's really interesting because I used to be a reality TV junkie for a long time. haven't really been into that as much lately, but I used to watch it all the time. So I'm... Looking forward to reading this one. Then I got House of Secrets by Tracy Peterson. And this is about three sisters who all have a secret. They all have the same secret, but they don't know the other ones know about it. It has to do with their dad and their mother. So I thought the cover was really pretty on this one. Um, then I got Charlotte Fig takes over paradise a novel of bright's pawn by joyce magnan i think i have this either on my ipad or on my kindle or both um but it was 99 cents and it's the physical book um and i think i got it for free on my kindle i think it's like a just a cutesy fun story about um this little trailer park and they all have adventures and things and i think that it's a series 
but I just got this one. This one was a $1.99 hardcover, so I got it. It's green by Ted Decker. Um, $1.99, I could not pass it up. Now, I've seen red and I think black at Ollie's and never bought them because I didn't want to have to buy the whole series. But now I'm going to at some point because I have green, and this is the Circle series. So, um, yeah. <laughs> That was, I wasn't sure if I should buy it, but I ended up buying it. This one I paid full price for because it sounded so good. It was $9.99 and it is Eyes Wide Open by Ted Decker and the cover is really cool. Um, it's about a girl who is 17, she's about to die. She's buried in a coffin under tons of concrete. No one knows where she is and I thought that sounded really creepy and interesting and excited. And I think this is part of a series. Most of his books are. And then the last thing, these were like super cheap. These were like 30 some cents, seriously, each. So I bought six. And I thought even if I don't really like them because they're like middle grade, my daughter will love them someday. My son might even like them. So I ended up getting these Serenity graphic novels. These are graphic no novels that are Christian based. Um, they are endorsed, which I thought was really neat, by um, Stan Lee, who wrote Spider-Man, a clean and inspiring Christian comic done in a hip contemporary way. I think you've got a real winner. So that's pretty impressive. Um, so it's anyway, it's a, they're by their Serenity, I think it's this girl's name is Serenity, and it didn't have, they didn't have the whole series. They only had these ones. These are the ones I got because they were like 35 cents each. So this one is Serenity Stepping Out. It's number two, and their color, and I'm excited to read them. I think they'll be fine. They'll be quick. I also got number three, Basket Case. And then I got number seven, Space Cadet versus Drama Queen. And this one says it has two stories in it. And number eight is Sunday Best. Number nine is Choosing Change. And number 10 is Girl Overboard. So I think they're going to be fun. Like I said, my daughter, who is now, she's going to be eight next week. Um, I think she'll like them. I don't know if she's old enough yet, but maybe when she's about 10 or 11, I think she'll enjoy them. So it was worth buying. I think I paid like $3 for all of these. So not even. I don't know. It wasn't a lot. But anyway, that is my haul. It's pretty, pretty massive, but um, that's it for a while. So hopefully I can kind of restrain myself from shopping. The biggest thing is going to be avoiding Goodwill because I go there every Friday on my day off and just look around and I just can't help myself. It's so fun. Um, but it is just a matter of not having anywhere to put these books. So, you know, but I thank you for watching. Thanks again, Ashley. And I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.